Hey, how you doing? Welcome, up, subscribers, to another hopefully informative video for you. Fierce 8, Force 8. I'm using these to give you an example of uh, something to look for when you're dealing with 8 inch subwoofers or even larger subwoofers. Most 8 inch subwoofers come with a 2 inch voice core, but some manufacturers. Now, I'm not going to say manufacturers. <laughs> Some designers, engineers, also working for a particular subwoofer company, offer, offer a two and a half inch voice core uh, configuration. What's the difference between the two? Well, the larger voice core does enable you to have high power handling, which would give you more power handling, gives you a certain amount of SPL along with other factors, because you just can't look at the power handling and say it's going to get particularly loud, albeit by itself. Uh, but a reputable subwoofer company is going to have, especially in the 8-inch lineup, they're going to have two off two lines, the a 2-inch option and a 2.5-inch voice core option. The 2-inch, 2.5-inch voice core option is mainly for SPL purposes, because it enables more power handling. The two inch is for moderate power handling, more geared toward SQL. In my opinion, let me put that out there, and I can tell you the reason why. In my opinion, a two inch voice core on a traditional cutout, seven and three eighths, a two inch voice core on a traditional cutout of seven and three eighths has better sound quality than a two and a half inch voice core that also utilizes a 73 inch cutout. And the reason why is this. If both of them got the same cutout, they're gonna both have the same basket and they're gonna have to both have the same uh, spider landing. Well, two inches of diameter is gonna eat up two inches of that six and a half inch spider landing. Okay? Two and a half inches in diameter is going to eat up more. That extra half inch is going to eat up, eat up more of that spider. And as it eats up more of that spider, you notice that the two and a half inch voice coils have significantly high FS readings, resonant frequencies free air, than the two inch voice coil. Why? Because now, the more you take away the... Uh, Linear travel, the travel of that spider, the less X max you're going to have. No, I ain't going to say the less X max you're going to have. That's not necessarily true because Morel has proved that uh, to be untrue. They do, do I incorporate other factors. But the more that spider you eat up, the higher your FS is going to be. The less it's going to be able to move accurately within the gap. So, within reason, to me, in my opinion, and this is what this channel is, is about my opinion. Those people that want to listen to me. A two-inch voice core sounds better than a two-and-a-half-inch voice core if they utilize the same cutout, which means they got the same basket. Or the same cutout size, because they have a six-and-a-half-inch spider. Throw that out the window when you talk about subs with a larger cutout. Uh, examples, SCAR ZVX-8, uh, Toro Force 8, DD-2508, and that's it. Did I know they utilize a large cutout? Oh no, the Ground Zero 8 was used the same basket as this Fierce does, I mean as this Force does. Uh, and that's it. The rest of them, they're going to be upset. But you use, if they don't use the same cookie cutter basket, they use the same cutout, 73 eighths. The cutout on the Fierce is 73 eighths. The cutout on the Force, it says 7.48, but I'm telling you, if you got a good rod like me and you cut 7.48, you ain't going to get it in there. You ain't going to get it in there. I say 7.625. For you to get that so remember the video where I showed you why I did the cutout with a sundown 738 and it popped right in that quadzilla. Then I tried to do the same thing with the fourth and it wouldn't go in there. It was like an inch sticking out. It's got a larger basket. Because it's got a larger basket, it has a what? 
larger cone area. Because it has a larger cone area, it has a larger spider. So even though it does use larger two and a half inch voice coil, the spider's bigger. So now we get the same sound quality of a two inch voice coil, but a more power handling and output. So we really in SPQL, SQL, SPQL. <laughs> and that's why, yeah, let me see on my channel. And he never went back, I went back to these. I went back. Not that I'm unhappy with my kickers, trust me. I'll make a video on that too. I'm gonna tell you exactly why I wanted to try these again. But uh, I'm not unhappy with my kickers in there at all. Get that out your head. So now I'm gonna show you another something else to look at. So we gonna I already did an unboxing, so this is not an unboxing. Though. And that's something I respect about Turbo Tech. Uh, they're pushing the envelope. They're trying different things. Even on a force, even on a, this is their Fierce 8. This is that basket that everyone uses. This is the basket that's on the Mezio, um, the Wolfram Audio 8. I mean, damn near every Brazilian Gold 8. Every name, every 8 that you can name is utilizing this basket. Because it, it, it incorporates a very large spider landing which enables you to get whatever FS you want to get. Whether you want to be at high or low. So this is a very popular basket. Alright. Nothing wrong with the basket. Can y'all see me sure the camera show that basket? Okay, now. And this is a difference for someone who might be looking at uh, should I get the fierce or the force? Uh... This little boy, you, you see the most flex. I ain't doing that for the hell. Of this, this is a boy here. A little man child. <laughs> this little man child. This is the force eight. As you can see, there's a considerable size difference between the two. But what I want you to draw attention to is that they both utilize a different basket. Now, for those of you on the fence, which one should I get? As you're looking at them, you can see this one here is substantially larger. It has a larger motor structure. It has a larger uh, spider landing. Uh, even though the FS, I think the FS is pretty high on this joint, if I ain't mistaken. Yeah, it plays very, I mean, it plays the lows very, very well. The frequency response, okay, where's the FS? Okay, the FS on this, uh, I think it's 50, yeah, 54. 54, 54, but what I particularly like about this cell uh, is, remember the FS does not have nothing to do with how low a subwoofer can play. Uh, watch with the video I told you about that. The FS is just where the resonant, where everything resonates in this freer environment. This subwoofer with its larger basket has a sensitivity rating of 82. One dB lower than the kicker. One dB lower than the kicker. Same thing with the Fierce 8, 82. They're very, very efficient drivers, utilizing two different ways of achieving the same result, which is giving you bass. This is my opinion, SPQL, because it has a larger uh, spider, which enables it to get real, real low, along with these ribs that they utilize on both designs. But what really in armor in armor me about both of them is their sensitivity rating. And y'all see my video on that. 82. When all the other cookie cutter eights out there are giving you 79 and 80 and then tell you don't pay attention to it because you can get power. Power is cheap. Well power is 
You gotta watch my video on that power sheep as well. But you also, the more power you want trying to run, the more you're going to spend on electrical. These are very, very sensitive drivers. So watch this video again over and over again so you can understand the different points I'm trying to say about the two inch voice coil versus the two and a half, but how this stays, this even is ahead of the pack on the two and a half inch voice coil because it uses a larger basket. So in effect, even though it's using a two and a half inch voice coil, it's spiraled a landing and able to deal the loads just like the subwoofer that uses a two inch voice coil. Because Toro said, okay, we're going to increase the voice core, but we're also going to increase the spider so it doesn't have an effect on the ability of the subwoofer to play low. And uses a very efficient motor structure. For those of you who are trying to understand, uh, uh, that concludes that video. Now I need to make another one about the differences between the two subs.